Rumi once wrote, why do you stay in prison when the door is so wide open? You were born with wings, why do you prefer to crawl through life? Sometimes our thoughts are backed by so many insecurities, they create lies that we start to believe. And the funny thing is, it's not who we are that holds us back, it's who we think we are. Our limiting beliefs come from our childhood, maybe we were bullied or put down. Our limiting beliefs come from school. Maybe a teacher told us we were never good enough. Our limiting beliefs come from our parents. Maybe they were never supportive or encouraging. And some of our limiting beliefs come from our friends. Maybe we were always comparing ourselves to them. We're imprisoned by our beliefs. We're imprisoned by others' expectations. We're imprisoned by our thoughts. We're imprisoned by others' opinions because we don't realize the potential that lies within us. We all have a playlist in our minds for our lives. And if your playlist has been saying, I can't do this, it's about time we edit that playlist. Just as we can customize the songs on our playlist, we can customize the songs that we play over and over again in our minds. If we don't like what we're hearing, we can turn it down, switch it off and change the song. I've learned a lot this year. I've learned that things don't always go to plan or the way we believe they should. I've learned that we should never judge the moment. Every curse can turn into a blessing. I've learned an opinion is not a truth. It's only as factual as we believe. I've learned that growth is painful, change is painful, but nothing is as painful as staying stuck somewhere we don't belong. One of the things that keeps us imprisoned and crawling is our fear of the future. We spend our lives worrying about the future, planning for the future, trying to predict the future. But the future is always changing. And the one thing we can know for certain is that the future never happens how we imagined it and all we can impact is the present. Steve Jobs said, your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary.